when you hit that point, that's when those things need to be taken on. Because you are, once you hit that level of satisfaction, well-being, that potent state, that free state, that free-flowing, beautiful, magically inclined, divine state that is on. And there is no thought of more because it is so satisfying. It's such the state of well-being. You'll want that very badly. And in you're wanting that very badly, you're going to see what stops you from having it. And if it's scary enough, you'll forget what you wanted. It's to not forget, no matter how scary it gets. You're going to live forever. Get over it. Get over the fear. There's so many things that trouble people right now that they're going to put off taking care of. You're living in eternity. To me, that, 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 that's... Someone goes, what do you think being saved means? I said, being saved? You mean like the Jesus way? They're like, yeah. I said, you know what I think it means? I think it's the moment you, you feel and realize and know beyond a shadow of a doubt for yourself that life is eternal. Like, well, what is, how do you figure? I said, because then you realize all the crap you got going on in your life could truly go on forever. It could truly go on forever and ever and ever. So it kind of prompts you to go, well, wait a minute. If I don't like it now, it sucks. Chances are I wouldn't like it 10,000 years from now. And you get to the place where there's really no time like the present. So... Because if you don't deal with it, it could very feasibly go on forever, right? Whatever the issue is. So it kind of makes you go, you know what, um, why not now? Because the longer I, I put this off, just the longer I'm going to feel it anyway. Time is not that short. I don't care what anybody's saying. 2012, is it going to come? A lot of people are going to wake up, right, and do their thing like they have been the whole time, and it's going to go. <laughs> but it does bring, you know, I'm, I'm sure the whole hype about it is bringing people to look at something. So it might be good, all the weirdness of life. Because this is eternity, folks. If you're choosing to be in this dream, you're in it. Why is it in your other dreams you could fly? You can, you can, you know, totally manipulate it. Not manipulate it, because it has a kind of a negative connotation. You can co totally roll with it, whatever's going on in your dreams. You have fallen off a cliff, you didn't break anything. You're so free there. Well, this is just a dream, too. Why aren't you free here? What keeps you from that level of experience? too intense to go into oblivion, so to speak. To feel like you're turning into goo. To not have a thought. To not have a leash. It's probably a better word. What? You don't like being a dog off a leash? You gotta have it nice and structured and flat. With nice square corners and boxed in. Is that what you are? Life is everywhere. You are life. If, if, I, if I have any concept of God left, which I really don't, but if, if, if that was something that, you know, someone couldn't let go of and that's the word I had to use, I'd tell them, you know what God is? I have no idea, but he's looking out of everything's eyes. It's looking out of everyone's eyes. I like universe. It's much bigger. It implies limitless. God implies weird dude with beard 
throwing lightning bolts at some and rose petals at others. Smiting this one for that, smiting that one for that. Definite has a has a personality, has intentions. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's a person. Oh, I see. So we can't handle being gods ourselves as we were made in his image, its image. I don't like him. We're made in God's image, right? Oh, so what did we do with that? Well, we just made him in ours. Took all the life out of it. Because right? what? What do they say? God has intentions. God has plans. Really? I mean, you hear it. You hear it all the time. God doesn't like gay people. God doesn't like Democrats. God doesn't like this. God doesn't like that. This is what God wants. This is what God doesn't want. No, that's you. That's what you want or don't want, asshole. How do you speak for God? All you've done is make him a person. So you've taken God. This is the ultimate blasphemy, if there is any at all. Making God in your image. Making your intentions belong to him, so therefore you can feel justified in all your bullshit. You're not feeling. They're not feeling the real thing. It's a presence. It is your presence. It is when you allow the entirety of your life force, the totality of your being. How's that for the next term? To come fully forward. There's more power there than there is anywhere. For you. You want more of it? Kick all the crap sucking it up out of your way. That's tough. It's the scary part. It's the dark part. Your mind operates in fear. You realize the mind is not in light. You can't enlighten the mind. The mind thinks. It knows nothing. It has terms that it doesn't, can't go any further than stating them. Like, okay, Man, the mind is can't go much further than that. It says it, it describes it, it has no idea what it's talking about. The being, on the other hand, can feel the infinite nature of that person. The heart, the being, actually. Wow, like when two people fall in love, is that two minds going, let's sign a contract? No, it's all about you. Right? It's a The person glows. You don't go, hmm. You're nowhere in there. That's why you feel so lovely. Love, it just shuts this off. I mean, the minute this thing gets love put into it, it's annihilated. It stops altogether. And if you can handle that freedom, you'll always be in love. So when you can't handle it, you start putting the limitations there. You start diminishing it. You start basically diminishing your presence. So now either your well-being is over there somewhere. It's not in the front anymore. It's what we're after. People call it salvation, nirvana, whatever, samadhi. I call it satisfaction. I call it the cure for restlessness. I call it the ultimate uh, you know, tonic for stupidity. Because, you know, when you're there, in that totally one state, that connected state, that free flow of your body, to be a natural person, you know, it's what's really kind of interesting. I find this kind of interesting. We should develop some kind of technology that takes the ego built, the mind built, mind built, the mind constructed ego, 